we're signed in. Uh, we're signed into folder. Um, and you'll notice that it hasn't changed hugely, um, which is a good thing because it, it kind of works. Now, what I will say is if I sign in uh, to um, uh, alternative uh, site, just to cover this off, you can see that the blue one is our NFR version. The green one is our Select Tech production version because there's a lot of scope for actually being able to customize the product. So what that means is you can either offer it to your um, clients looking exactly how you want it to, or alternatively, you know, it, with your branding and so on, or a customer can start to, to customize it however they might want to. There's a lot of options here in terms of what the text is going to look like, what colors are in here, what images are utilized, wherever. We can even start to contr control the, the head of details and so on. So there's an awful lot of scope to make this look how you want, either as I say, on a customer basis or from you guys as a reseller. So just wanted to show you that they're different look and feels and you can see even that different services have been connected based on the, you know, the design of me as a user. So there's a lot of flexibility in there that we perhaps overlook. But here I go, I'm gonna start just having a move around. And um, the first thing to note is we are connecting all of these services, as we've said. Some of these are ones that we're building internally. So we haven't mentioned our Square 9 product, but we're doing quite a lot with our very powerful Square 9 capture and search product as well. That will come uh, important later, but you can see we're connecting these different services in. Um, and as an individual, I've got a couple of things bookmarked for me here. And these are areas that I'm gonna spend time and find out uh, you know, and use, to, use today. So I've got a simple folder happening here and I've got an invoice folder with nothing happening and going on. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna drop some PDF documents into the thing. Um, and whilst it's thinking about those, there we go, they're uploading. I also wanna show you if you can see, this is my Mac client, and I have the folder drive connected here as well. And you can see that it's pulling my bookmarks directly from folder. So rather than having to interact with this front end, I can simply run that client and I can have it synchronizing documents in real time across all of my devices or indeed, you know, anything else I might like. Now, from an MFD perspective, suddenly this is an enormously powerful way of connecting into things like Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, Teams, because I could simply have a client running on a, on a capture server and have it synchronizing all of these documents out. It's a super connector, and that's just a side effect of the product itself. But you can see here that I've actually got some documents that uh, have now just uploaded, and we just wanna really quickly just show you what the new features are in terms of search. So, I'm simply going to start taking a look for one of those documents that I started to just drop in a little minute ago. And you can see as I roll across, um, let me just hope that that's going to be where I want it to. Oh, typo, that's why it's not doing it. Uh, two, eight. You can start to see that we're pulling back documents here. And I can start to find these are different things across the whole piece. But if I start to scroll down and move around, I'm finding them across different things. And I'm actually now going to start to uh, refine that search a little minute. And we're starting to reduce things down and starting to pull things around and so on. And this is what Folder has been able to do all along, in fairness. This isn't particularly new. It just means that we're really starting to, you know, we're refining the speed and pace of that. Because you can see I just drag and drop those documents in and I'm now starting to search across them. So this isn't particularly new, but this is the one that I just dropped in. The reality is that was great before, but in folder what I used to have is, um, as I'm just going to turn my phone off, sorry, my other phone. There we are. Um, what we used to have is some search hints at the top. And what we've added now is a query builder. So we can kind of start to add conditions and bits, and we'll come back to that in a minute as to how powerful that is. But let's just take a look at this document now. I could show you one of the new ones. That's what I just added in, and this is what's been added to folder. Uh, or one of the things that's been added to folder is we've refined the document viewer now, so we're doing hit highlighting. That would have been a, a fairly standard feature of a, of a content-based open bucket document archiving tool, absolutely. Um, but it's now native in folder. 
so we can start to move things around. And what's interesting here, and this is going to be refined even further, this is a beta version, but later today, we're going to see some new features into this, and this will be coming into production uh, in the next week or so, which we want to launch into the, the right resellers. As you can see, my query here, um, I can take that out. Let's do it. And you'll see that it loses the thing that it was looking for before. And we're going to have that as a UI in here as well, as a little searchable box where I can search in the viewer at the same time. So I now have hit highlighting on any image file anywhere across any of my repositories. So that's kind of nice. That brings it in line with document applic management applications, simple ones, you know, say sort of a file style or a power retrieve type product, which is kind of cool. But I would like to uh, be able to, uh, to, to refine this slightly. So I'm going to take that. And I'd like to specify that that is in the content. So I'm going to throw that into there. I'm going to run my search. And you can start to see that's where we were. That's fine. So I'm going to add another condition. I'm going to say I only want to find it if it's an invoice. OK. And you can see that it's now starting to shred out all of the documents that I don't want. It's bumped that straight to the front. But actually, if I remember that document, um, that was from the, from the eagle-eyed of you. It was from the Hop City Supply Supplier. These are the standard Square 9 samples, by the way. Anyone who's talking to us about the Square 9 product will be familiar with these, uh, with these uh, samples. We use them quite a lot. If you want to play with them, we can let you have them. Um, the, let's add another one. So let's say, okay, this is in contents and is from Hop City. And this is a great example here because you may have noticed as I added that, in this instance, we have not used our crawler to take a look at the Google Drive uh, piece. So we do get quite a lot of comment, well, you can do this stuff with Google Drive. Well, yeah, you kind of could, but if I take that line out, and rerun my search. We take a look here from Google Drive. We take a look at the snippet, which is what uh, folder allows us to do, as well as the hit highlighting. You might notice here that the OCR from Google has badly found that. So if we were searching on that content from Google, we wouldn't have found it uh, even, but we could start to change that within folder using the is like uh, component in here. So now we've got fuzzy searching within Google and all of our network shares anywhere else. So let's add that, uh, that component back in just to show you what it does. I'm going to add one. Contents is Hop City. There we go. Let's narrow it down to that. And if I say is not because I don't want it, it should take that away. And we have zero hits, but we're back to the Google ones because they are not Hop City. And I could even change that to is like, and we should find all of the documents that disappear as well. So you can see that we've now got queries that make sense. So if I have somebody who's looking for something, um, I can start to really pare that down rather than having to type complicated strings in here. The key thing is that it is able to share a search across all of these. And this is, and even more services if we wanted to. And there's another element which is coming out for us, and that will be that we are going to be able to wrap all of those containers together under one happy name. So if you want to call all of your storage facilities Dave, then feel free. Search Dave and get all of your results back in one consistent string, as opposed to uh, knowing where something is. And so the other features that they've allowed us to search are by file name, by anything in the contents and any combination of those, as you've just seen, which folder it might be in or in a container. And there will be a file picker from there as well. Um, we can start to look at modified dates. So when did it arrive? Um, you know, uh, is before and after and so on. So we can actually get that to um, uh, show as a date pick. And we can also start to look for the documents of a certain size and so on. And a lot of these things are also infrastructure tools. We want to start moving files of a certain size or type or anything else. So let's start to, uh, to kind of see what uh, other things we can do. So let's, let's just do a little search here. Let's clear this up. Let's hide the query and just start using this as a, as a standard 
SDN thing. I'm going to search here from Kirk because another feature that we might like, okay, is that <laughs> when you ask a developer, by the way, to build you a little search thing, he comes up with stuff like this. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting Star Trek references all the way through, and you can see that I can view this text document, and you know what? Kurt can't see this, so let's try this and open a new private window. Hopefully we can remember this. Uh, there we go. It'll take a little minute. Let's log in as J. Kirk. The password is the most complicated thing in the universe because my developer set it up. Where is he? Just to kind of show you, as you can see, if, if Jay Kirk logs in, he's getting a completely different view to me in terms of my files. I've got lots of access. I've got uh, anything else that I might like, whereas this user has controlled access, in this case, only there. And you know what? If they search for Kirk, they're not going to find it. So nothing happening there. But if I is to be able to control the archive but generally all we can do is say who can or who cannot access a particular part with this we can be very granular on what they can do how they can do it because we're using the full power of folder so we've got a lot more uh, functionality in there because it's actually an infrastructure tool for sharing so you know we can kind of achieve whatever it is we might want to do rather than only uh, allocating stuff based on um, based on a location within one existing file structure. If you want to go further than that, obviously we've got the full Square 9 ECM tool, which we've spoken to some or, or a lot of you about. But you can kind of see what we're you know what we're talking about there. So I'm going to drop that user out. Okay, and we're going to come back to my bookmarks. And of course, there are various things that are going on here. Maybe I want to run a share. Let's just uh, Let's just try and um, make this happen. Let's do this. Okay. So you can see here that I'm actually going to create a public link. This would be quite fun. There we go. And I'm going to do. There we go. Let's update that. Uh -huh. There we are. I'm actually just going to throw that up there. If you guys want to. Take a picture of that with your iPhone. It should work. So it was a little bit terrifying, isn't it? Uh, opening a demo. Let's just browse to this thing. Uh, let's do it in a new private window so you can see that I'm not using my existing login. Uh, let's go. Now, this might be a feature that you may have seen. You can see there's my invoices folder shared publicly. Um, I've obviously got a lot more control around that if I want to. Um, in terms of when it'll expire, when it will work. But it's interesting to know that actually that is being shared not off of Google, not off of OneDrive, not off of Dropbox or anything else. That is being powered by SMB share. So that's a Windows share power in that. And I can control access to it, turn it on, turn it off, um, in just as simply as this. And we can update that. And of course, whenever we talk about document management stuff, we really want to know what the activity is like. So let's take a look at what's going on in the back end here. This is the appliance, and we can kind of see everything that's going on. But we really would like to understand the, uh, the activity, and you can see how granular this can be. So this is where I, uh, where I just was. I was sharing things. I just stopped sharing it. And I can start to run filters in terms of the dates, in terms of uh, which sections of our storage we were looking at, what type of activity, and you can see how granular I can get with any of this stuff in terms of each and every service. So if I've got an organization that wants to understand who's interacting with what component, uh, we can do that. That's absolutely fine. Um, we get asked in document management systems, can I email into it? And even with us, uh, we generally need to use a capture client or do something else to do that. But uh, what I might do, let's take a look here. If I come into this, maybe I'd like to have someone be able to uh, email into uh, my in invoices folder rather than having to do the thing, set up a new 365 mail address and deal with that. I can simply turn that on as a catch. I can say whether I'm going to save the message body as well. I can even start to decide how I'm going to file name that. So I'd really like to file name that 
with the sender address and I'd really like to say what the receive date was and away we go and I can start to build my file name. Um, so I could just simply turn on that. So if you think really quickly, how could I build a very simple SMB friendly accounts payable capture process where they probably don't have an IT manager and they want to just set up an email inbox for people to email invoices or something to, and then be able to search on those documents and then move them around. That's how quickly you could do that with folder, which is slightly more functional than we'd find with a standard open bucket archiving tool. Normally with an archiving tool, what I've got is the ability to move things into it and find them. And then obviously if I want to feed that, I need a capture tool, I need this, I need that, I need the other. Whereas we can start to link all sorts of things together, all based on this one application set all on its own. And we can customize it completely and it's fully uh, auditable in terms of what's going on and it works with AD. And we can have users within folder that don't exist within our Active Directory environment as well. So you can start to see that between the query builder, the hit highlighting, um, so let's just pull back another one of those, uh, another one of those little documents and kind of see um, what that search might look like. There we go, you can see that's the one I just dragged and dropped anywhere. So I'd actually like to do that in here. Uh, one, two, one, another demo of this. Let's search on that. You can see it's pulling back that document. And again, I'm gonna, uh, in contents, let's just say is brew shop. That's the, the supplier. I'm looking for the contents in there. And there it is, which that to is not, because I'd like to ignore any of the brew shop. We should drop that one out. So I'm really enabling it to do, um, to, to be quite powerful in terms of the content searching very, very simply. Because we know that everybody likes to make margin and uh, increase value, we're gonna start adding bolt-ons into this. And one of those bolt-ons which will be chargeable is the ability to create these complex structures and save them so that users have a one button way of looking at that. And this ability for us to uh, tidy up or, or create friendly search names as we can do in there as opposed to looking across all of the things. So if we, uh, let's just take that line out. The, uh, the new, viewer the new browser with the hit highlighting that's a feature that should be rolling into the standard commercial license of folder as will the query builder and then we're going to be adding metadata components to it as well 